Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing the Mercedes-Benz EQS 580 sedan. Before we get into this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Mercedes of Salt Lake for giving me some time with this car. This one is available for sale for the time being, so if you're interested, I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you wanna save time money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. So let's go over the EV specs. We have a 120 kilowatt hour battery pack that gives us 340 miles of electric driving range. Now we have a dual electric motor setup, putting out 516 horsepower and then 631 pound-feet of torque. Now when it comes to the hood design, you guys can see we've got some lines there on either side, but other than that, it's pretty smooth overall. And then popping down below, you guys can see everything on the front end is very smooth, and that's for aerodynamic efficiency. I mean, look at the headlights and then the grill, obviously all closed off, but you got a bunch of Mercedes logos there in the center, which is pretty cool. And putting it all together with this satin paint, it looks really cool actually. Now coming around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 265, 40, 21 in the front and over in the rear. And you guys can see the wheel design here, which I think looks really cool. You've got the black there in the center portion, which kind of adds to it. And by the way, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post these videos every single day. Now you guys can see we've got the chrome trim here and then also around the windows as well and even on the door handles. And then here's your full side view with the EQS and I just reviewed an EQE before this and I'm gonna be completely honest, now that I've seen both of them back to back, I still can't tell the difference. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function or lock function, the opening here for the trunk and yeah, it's normal Mercedes key. Now popping into said trunk area, you guys can see we've got a cargo cover built in from the factory. And when it comes to space, this thing is absolutely enormous. And then we've got these little plaques here in the back, which is pretty cool. And you guys will notice that it's actually a hatchback, which is interesting, but just press that button right there and then I'll lower it down. And then here are the tail lights. I love the design here. And then look at the low profile spoiler there. And then you guys can see the rest of the badges here on the back as well. And something that's cool is this actually is the trunk popper. You can just do the Mercedes logo to do that. And then parking sensors at the bottom. Putting it all together, let me know what you guys think about the style here on the EQS 580. Now popping inside, it looks like we've got vegan leather here, but then it looks like we've got regular leather down below. So it's all like mixed in together. Uh, heated seats here in the back and then Burmester sound system. Now this seat design is really snazzy. I think that looks super cool with all the stitching. Now legroom back here is really good. You guys can see we've got a little storage pocket, got some vents here in the center. We have our dual zone climate controls as well. And then you can see we've got a little armrest set up here and headroom's good. You can also see that we've got well, a center spec here. Now here's the front door panel. You can see material use is the same as the back. We've got our little door handle, which actually looks pretty cool. All of our seat adjustments here, heated and ventilated seats. You can also adjust the passenger seat from the front. You got memory seats, all of our window controls. And I like this paneling right here. The mirrors do power fold in and they've got blind spot monitoring. And then the front seats look pretty much identical to the back, but they are perforated all down the center portion. So that is definitely a key difference. And then in pretty normal pedals, we got our light control right here. And then yeah, the dash, it's all the same. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, you guys can see really nice leather trim all around. We've got paddle shifters here in the back for the regen setup, even though they say plus and minus, which is kind of interesting. Controls for the center screen. We got our volume controls, voice command controls. We also have our adapter cruise control and then controls for the gauge cluster right there as well. I realized I forgot to mention that the headrests have pillows on them, which is also pretty cool. So here's our center gauge cluster. You can see it's fully digital. I love the overall look and design. And then it does kind of function as almost like a secondary infotainment system. Notice you can do like the nav screen if you want. But yeah, I've got lots of different ways. I like the understated. That looks pretty, that looks pretty snazzy. Now in reverse, we do have a backup camera with trajectory lines that turn with the steering wheel. Got the full bird's eye view set up here. Yeah, so you can see out of every single angle. Resolution on it is fantastic, by the way. Now as for the rest of the infotainment system, it's absolutely massive, and it looks like we also have a passenger screen. Interesting. But yeah, I mean, this is such a huge screen. Responds really well, and being an S-Class, right, we have massaging seats and all of that. Uh, so I think that that whole setup's pretty good. And then we do have some different drive modes, so you guys can see we've got Eco, Comfort, we've got a Sport, and then an Individual as well. I like the trim here on the dash, and then you got ambient lighting below. It's probably not gonna show up on camera because of the time of day that it is but I love the overall design there. And then we've got this right here that covers up the wireless phone charging pad. Got some cup holder action here. And then you got your, like, your drive mode select. We got this for the camera. Um, your EQ, right, just press that. It'll show us the electric information. And then your stop start button's also right here. And then, again, I'm pretty sure this is vegan leather. It looks like it. 
but you can see inside. And then the glove box has a weird little button that you press there, but it's absolutely enormous. And then up top we got our control here for the sunroof. So you've got this sunroof here, and then we have another sunroof in the back, and then a nice headliner. So here's our window sticker for this EQS 580. Um, you guys can see all the standard equipment, and notice this has axle steering as well, which is pretty cool. But here's everything else. Base MSRP, total MSRP here, $140,045. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood and hopefully you can see the heads-up display. Both the mirrors. You should do a blind spot monitoring then throughout the rest of the rear. And EQS away. So I uh, just drove the EQE AMG before this. So I will make some comparisons. I don't know if any of you are actually comparing an EQE AMG to an EQS, but I think the price point on them is pretty similar. So maybe some of you are comparing. Again, I don't, I don't know. I just work here, folks. But what I can tell you is there is actually a perceivable difference right off the bat. Um, they look super similar, but this feels, and again, this obviously isn't an AMG model, right? It's 580. This feels more luxury. Like it's, it feels m more uh, comfy with the ride. It's a little bit softer, a little bit more supple. So that I think is a interesting thing to note. So uh, moving along here in the EQS. Yeah, seat comfort's really, it's really good. I mean, this is literally just like a normal S-Class is what I'm noticing so far. Other than the fact that, you know, electric power versus gas power on the regular S-Class. Now, normally I go down a little bit further, but there's a bunch of uh, construction. Uh, and so we're going to be turning a little bit earlier than we normally would be. Just so you guys know. Yeah, the rear steer, you can feel it. It This turns really, for being such a big, heavy vehicle, it turns really well. Now we're in the sport mode. The EQE AMG had some interesting acceleration sounds. This seems like they're going more of the Tesla route where they're just kind of leaving it silent, which there's nothing wrong with that. Oh no, there's sound. There's sound when you accelerate. Sorry, I got to adjust this for you guys a little bit. But yeah, there's definitely like a sound. It's pretty interesting. Okay, well, we'll get another acceleration here. <laughs> yeah, it's quick. It's quick. That's for sure. Mick, that's cool with the braking sound too. So, summing things up with the EQS 580 sedan thingy-majigger. That's what we'll call it. Thingy-majigger. Um, first off, I, I said the same thing in the EQE review, so I'll say it in this review as well. When it comes to the exterior styling, it's, you know, function over form, right? Mercedes built this car to be the most aerodynamic car ever. They accomplished that, and they accomplished that with a very interesting design. Let me know if you guys like it or not. When it comes to the interior, it's Mercedes interior. It's beautifully designed, really nice materials. Everything just fit and finish is fantastic. Everything feels really good. So the inside of this car is amazing. It, I think the only thing that might hold people up, what I was just talking about, is the exterior design. And when it comes to with driving, uh, for an electric car, I mean, it, it's super, it, it really is. In, uh, EV S class. It's super comfortable. Acceleration's great. Um, I do think that this could probably end up being the future of luxury cars. Uh, I just think that some people right now, again, like I said, they might be held up a little bit when it comes to the styling. But let me know what you guys think about the EQS 580.